Yep. Back out. Weekend walking. Lovely weather. It's a nice, nice sunny day. A little bit breezy, but that's keeping you cool. Um, I bumped into these two. There's a local lad. Get out and do a bit of walking, you know it makes sense. You know it makes sense. <laughs> What's that tree? My marrow. <laughs> I remember when you were this tall. <laughs> and then I've got uh, Yazoki. Yazoki? What he's are you doing? Out, he's out with his badly behaved bloody pooch. <laughs> right, he's not bad. What a sod he's been. <laughs> anyway, starting this video, this is the crossroads where last week I went down that way. You might remember the old banana in the bag, but this time we're crossed. We're just carrying straight on. We're keeping socially distanced. Damon's a local lad, so he's alright being here. He's local, so it's just a local walk. Um, I have got the same as that one, exactly the same. Yeah, we're in the in the summer. You could camp here, like this is dense enough. Yeah. This is real urban exploring this. We're in Seaton Delaval. Oh, we're coming into Seaton Delaval. We've come along from New Hartley, which is back that way. I think we've walked five miles from the start. Now this is um this, this is the bit we don't like. Oh, he's gone right. It's a bit we don't like because it's on the road and in the all built up areas, better off in the trees. We'll get back into the trees though. For now, well, we're just uh, we're just trolling along the road of certain death. We've come all the way along there. Good walk, like miles. Look at the how busy it is. People on bikes. This is a bike path, you know, and they're riding on the road. This is just causing mayhem, like. Enjoying it? Well, yes and no. I like the bits in the woods and over the fields and that. But the busy stretches of the roads. Aye. You know, it's quite a long part of this. This is the worst bit, I think. Yeah. I mean, once we get into the quieter spots, I think it'll be a little bit better. All right, we'll turn off shortly. We'll come to Delaval Hall. We'll mooch around Delaval Hall and then we'll get into the Dean. And it's, it's like less than a mile now. Dogs, you're having a drink of water, I like. In the puddles. Dogs didn't care. So, after the walk of death, it's terrible that road. It's really scary, like. Um, Delaval Hall. So, up until the 90s, people were still living in this bit. And if you go now, if, like if you're a member of the National Trust, you get in for free, obviously. You can walk all around the grounds over there, you go through the house, and it's all like preserved how it was. The other side is the stables, there's a cafe. I don't know if they're open now, but people are going in like so. Uh, I'm suppose I'm surmising it is open, but the middle bit there, the big middle grand bit, that's a bit that got burnt down and they had to rebuild it all at great cost. All right, Delaval Hall. Yeah, if, you're if you're familiar with my videos, you'll recognise this. I mean, look at all the rubbish here, man. It's getting ruined. Ten foot wall all the way around. And stuff, people. But me and Mr. Stoker camped out there. <laughs> In the middle of there. For his son who died. It's the most annoying thing in the world, that way. But your arpkit one comes off me, Bob. Mm. Oh, it doesn't count on.
We were down in the um, the sluice now. Off them bloody roads. I knew the roads were going to be part of the walk, but oh, they were so busy. Oh, yeah. It's treacherous, wasn't it? Horrendous. But we're going to walk along this river now. We'll get so far, I don't, know, I don't think we're going to go at the Dean. And you go along here, there's a bridge, cross over the bridge, come back on the other side and then walk back. That'll still be about 11 mile. Well, we're nearly at the end of the erm. Um, this is the sluice here. Nice pub that when it's open. Nice beer garden. That's it pretty much. We've decided it's not really very interesting this video because there's like too much traffic really not much to see so nice, we're going to cross the bridge it's another bridge of death this is the sluice bit water pours out here when well, it's coming in now it must be coming in the tide nice pub there king's arms when it's open Another one you can sit outside in the summer. It's lovely there. Do nice food there as well. Well, we've reached the coast. It's Blythe. This is the entrance to the harbour. It's like a little seaside town. <laughs> he doesn't like the waves. <laughs> What's that? What is it? What is it? <laughs> it's waves. <laughs> it's waves. He's like, alright, I'll have them. I'll have them. You want some? Dog's going crazy every time he sees a dog. I think I just have been. Polished boots, see what is beads off. <laughs> We're just coming to the end of the walk now, so um, I've done that relive thing. So we'll see how many miles we've done. I'm thinking we've done about 11 miles. But it's all it's all flat miles, you know. I mean, there's any, any hard bits about it. Just uh, nice to get out. We've come in here because so many people on the path, dogs and bikes, loads of people. It's good, but I'm just wondering what the summer's gonna be like. <laughs> It'll be mad. Look at this, we could camp here, could pitch. We could easy pitch here, like. Anyway, they're talking politics. Brought out the big guns. This is the battery. The replica is like, but this is what they would have been like during the war. Keep away the invading, keep the Romans out. <laughs> Not the Romans again. The Roman invasion and the, and the, just before the seen these war. Things, didn't And the Scots, keep the Scots out. Any Scots, don't take offence, I'm only joking. Well, that's it. Pretty much exhausted Blythe now, like, so I don't think we'll be doing any more videos around here. So, we've been told we can go out the week commencing April the 12th. And I think the Saturday is the 17th. So we'll probably be out camping then. Um, Let's see if we do any more walks. Mark's talking about doing a walk around Newcastle. We might do that. So we'll just see you on the next one.
All right, chaps, that's it. I'm finishing the video. Had a good walk, Damien? I've had a fantastic walk. Thank you for inviting me out to this wonderful location. <laughs> really enjoyed it. Aye. Even the two long rooms. And what a good place to end it as well. Just here, in Blythe. And I never knew these existed. Yeah. Tommy guns? Literally half got the big guns out. I wonder how far they could shoot out them. Probably a couple of miles at least.